Welcome back to another week in my life. For this video, I'm gonna take you guys through what a couple work from home days in my life look like now. It is Monday the 7th of December. The sound of Outlook pinging is like lightly cursed, but another month means another book of the month, baby. Just another opportunity to flex my literacy, whatever that means to you. I have literal cobwebs on my microphone, which... There's probably some metaphor in there about my care and attention to YouTube, but I'm not gonna make it for you guys. Book of the Month is the sponsor of today's video. I love working with them because first of all, they encourage me to read, which is a goal that I love to say I'm working towards, but frequently fall behind on. And they also do a great job of flattery. The structure is as follows. Basically, they have a whole team ravenously reading through so many different genres and like new emerging upcoming authors. And then they select five books a month that you can choose from. And you can actually get your first book, your first hardcover book with them uh, for $5 with the code bookwish. I'll have that in my description as well if you want to use that. The book I picked out this month is by Danielle Evans. I chose it because it's actually a series of novellas. So it's like short stories into one larger book. Um, I'm looking at one of the books on my bookshelf right now called Monogamy that follows like a very similar style all about monogamy and I really enjoyed that. Thank you to the folks at Book of the Month for not only perceiving me as someone who reads but also encouraging me too. So, were you trying to talk to me in the room? No. Uh -huh. Someone's knocking on my door a bunch. I was looking for a measuring tape. Does Danny's measuring tape in your room? I gave it back to him. myself popcorn because as we all know I'm just the pinnacle of health and because they're doing this fun little advent calendar at work so every day we have like a team call and people do a different little skit or like something fun and then we get to open up our little gifts and I haven't been cheating surprisingly today they gave us a little red box gift card so we can rent a movie and then mailed us like a Kirkland Costco bag of popcorn so I'm really not following what they wanted us to do here but the popcorn was screaming my name before any sort of movie was. I don't know what I'm gonna rent because almost everything's on streaming these days. So if you guys have ideas of stuff that's like not on streaming and only rentable, let me know. I am 5'10 and I need a six foot tripod to have a flattering downward angle on my face. <laughs> I always forget that you guys can't tell how tall I am in videos. Like it doesn't just like, like I feel like Elena, if you watch her, like you can literally feel her six foot height radiate through the screen. We were talking about that on our podcast. If you didn't know, we recorded a new episode of In Line with a Mary Berry. Maybe you didn't even know I had a podcast, but if you want to listen, I'll link it in the description. If you're looking for something to fill up, you know, 90 minutes of downtime while you hang your laundry or decorate for Christmas or whatnot, that's there at your disposal, which is what I'm gonna do right now. For those of you that live in like warm weather climates, I feel like when I was little, the threat of Christmas was like imminent. Like as soon as it was like November 27th, like 
I don't know if it was being in school or like what, but when I was younger, it always felt like staunchly Christmas time for a solid at least 25, 26 days. But now it's like December 7th and for whatever reason, I know the reason I'm not in the Christmas spirit. So I'm gonna decorate my room for the first time in my entire history. Here we go. It went like angels watching over us, all our little wives. I don't know if I buy it, but it does sound kind of nice. I don't remember getting older, but I'm slowing down. I don't know if I'm gonna That's miss so you. Also, if this room layout is like new to you and you haven't seen it before, I did a complete makeover transformation. I spent so much time, like hours and hours over months on that video, so please do not let it flop. It's linked in the description. My battery is dying, so I will see you guys in the morning. Oh. All right, on a scale of one to NDGF, how would you rank me? Rip in jeans, not pictured. Let's just hope that I'm like in the shot whatsoever right now. You know what? I'm actually very happy to be single right now because it leaves me with like a lot more mental acuity to just shit post on Twitter. I was watching a Cody Ko video and he was talking about how he feels like he used to be so much funnier on Twitter and he timestamped one of his like best tweets in his opinion and it was like right before he got in a relationship with Kelsey. So I'm like, that checks out. Like my theory checks out. If you guys can list one person who you follow on Twitter that you think is actually funnier or posts more now that they're in a relationship, please defy my theory. Help me workshop this hypothesis. Some lunch from a local Mediterranean place. I'm gonna meal prep for next week, but you gotta give yourself breaks when you work from home, otherwise your brain just shuts right down. All right, I am wrapping up my work day because I have class at five. I'm in school again, which is really fun. For me it is, because as we all know from my years and years of college advice videos, I'm a giant academia nerd. So it's a course on mindful creativity, which is right up my alley. It's like half mindfulness and meditation and half creativity. And it's actually funny because my OT professor that I had in college is in the course and she helped me through so much and I like cherish and worship the woman. And she private messaged me in the Zoom chat and I got really excited that she like remembered who I was because um, she made such a huge impact on my life. And you gotta let the people know that have impacted you that they've done so because they deserve to know. So I'm getting mushy at the end of the work day. So a good healthy meditation practice doesn't have to be the same exact meditation every day. It's just the fact that you meditate every day and that you're, you're committed to that practice, if that makes sense to you. And the first thing I want you to notice all right, so now with the last 10 minutes of class, they give us time to work on a creative practice of our choice. Yours truly picked piano because my identity for most of my life was like super wrapped up in being a musician. Like that was my like core personality trait was playing piano and trumpet. And then I graduated college and left the marching band and that was kind of the death of my musicianship, if that's even a word. But now that I'm back home, I have access to a piano or really a keyboard. Growing up, I exclusively played classical music. My piano teacher was Russian um, and studied piano in Russia. So 
In this little booklet, I have tons of pieces and sonatas and concertos that are all in Russian script. This one's Chopin. I easily could have picked up one of these ancient relics, but um, growing up, I always wanted to play like just pop songs because I have no taste. Like I just want to play like the music that I know. Um, and that's why I loved marching band so much is because we literally just played like whatever was top 40. So I downloaded some Phoebe Bridger sheet music because she's an icon and most of her songs are like guitar dominant, but Punisher is a piano ballad. I don't know if you can call it a ballad. It feels like a ballad to me. Um, it wasn't my favorite song off the record, but it's become one of my favorites. I have to get back to class in like 10 minutes, so I have just a little bit of time to practice this piece. My creative sensor is telling me not to film this because I'm gonna embarrass myself, but I'm gonna push through it. My voice is like definitely not cut out for Phoebe and her like tone and her typical keys that she chooses, but I feel like a lot of people probably have already tuned out of this part of the vlog because they don't like connect with creativity just because it's so shut out of a lot of our lives, but I never ever would have self-described myself as a creative person even for like the first five years of doing YouTube despite this being like chiefly a creative practice. I feel like it's very much gatekept where most of us like don't consider ourselves creative people just because we don't have an album out or a pottery Instagram or a collection of published poems. Like I think the definition of p creativity has been really warped because like human beings foundationally are creative. Like we are all creative. It's just such a gatekept word that like a lot of us aren't comfortable but even just cooking is creative. Anytime you make something, even when you're singing along in your car, that's creative. Like anytime you're expressing yourself and you're creating something out of nothing, even if you're just like drumming on your leg, like all of that's creative. So um, I love to encourage my friends to create. And um, do you guys want to hear me play trumpet for the first time in four years? This is like a deep, deep cut, but I used to post trumpet covers on my YouTube channel. And one of you guys DM'd me and was like, look what just came up on my homepage. And it was me at like age 17 in my living room. So is this my C trumpet? No. Okay, we're good. Oh my God, the valves still work. You usually have to oil these babies up. All right, which mouthpiece? I'll use the shilky. This is really just nothing but vibes. Okay. Okay. I still got it. My range, horrible. But can I still buzz and make a sound? Yes, which I didn't think I could, so. Maybe I'll finish up Punisher and then do a song on trumpet, like some Casey Musgrave song or something. I don't know. Thank you all very much for supporting my mania um, and watching this far in the video. My goal is to post five videos in the month of December as opposed to my usual like one or two. So if you are subscribed and the algorithm does not do me dirty, you will see me in your subscription box soon. And if you're not subscribed and you want to, I would love it if you supported my channel, gave this video a like, turn on notifications, to thwart Susan Majicki's algorithm, and I love you all. Cather out.